Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So welcome back and this is lecture number 58, uh, we will be talking about the solution of non-homogeneous linear equations and in particular we will look for the particular integral and the solution techniques for evaluating the particular integral. So in the last lecture we have already seen that how to get a uh, complementary function of the differential equation of the linear differential equation with constant coefficient. And also we have discussed already that to find the general solution of a given uh, differential equation we need to find the complementary function and we need to find the particular integral. And when we add the two we will get the general solution of the given non-homogeneous differential equation. So in today's lecture our focus will be how to find a particular solution of the given differential equation. So the given differential equation uh, written in this operator form we have this f dy is equal to the x, x is a function of small x and then this expression here is written by this f d which has, we, is, has been already discussed in previous lecture. So the particular integral of this equation or a particular solution of this equation we will uh, denote here like 1 over f d and operated on x. So this 1 over f d is like the inverse operator which we multiply here to this equation and then we get directly this y here as a solution 1 over f d and this x and we will uh, see here that how to how to operate this 1 over uh, f d on a function x here which is a function of x. So this f d is called the inverse uh, operator and the idea here which was already discussed that is f d can be expressed in terms of this d minus alpha 1, d minus alpha 2 and so on d minus alpha n where these alphas are the uh, roots of the auxiliary equation. So the particular integral written in this term 1 over this f d x and this f d is nothing but the product of these d minus alphas. So, we have written here like 1 over d minus alpha 1, 1 over d minus alpha 2 and the product of this 1 over d minus alpha n operated on this x. So, what is important here to evaluate this expression actually the important is here if we know the way to evaluate this 1 over this d minus a this operator on x. So, if we know this how to evaluate this 1 over d minus a on x then we can repeatedly apply this idea and we can find uh, the particular integral the, the general form this 1 over f d on x. So now first we will discuss here that how to operate this 1 over d minus a on x or what is the value here when we operate this 1 over d minus a on x. So this is the very general method for finding this particular integral which we are discussing at first later on we will go for some special forms of this x and there will be some direct uh, evaluation techniques which will be also discussed later. So here first we will prove this result that when we operate this 1 over d minus a on this x we will get actually this exponential a x and integral of this x multiplied by e power minus a x and then uh, over this dx. So to see this how this result we are getting in terms of the integral we need to consider here let this y is equal to this 1 over d minus a x. So we have assumed that this 1 over d minus a is x and we will find out that what is actually y. So to find out this y what we will do here we will multiply this equation by this d minus a operator so that we will get back to the uh, differential equation which we know already how to solve because when we multiply here by d minus a we will get this d minus a 
uh, applied on this y is equal to this x and this is a first order differential equation which we know how to solve. Indeed, this is a linear equation in y because d y over d x minus this a y is equal to the right hand side function this x. Here we can find out the integrating factor now. So, the integrating factor of this equation will be e power minus a d x meaning this e power minus a x that is the integrating factor. So, once we know the integrating factor we can write down the solution which was already discussed in previous lecture. So, here the y into the integrating factor which is e power minus a x equal to the integral the right hand function here x and multiplied by again this integrating factor e power minus a x integrated over this x plus a constant of integration. Just a note here this constant of integration is not important and we can set uh, this constant of integration as 0. The reason is because we are talking about here or we are discussing how to find a particular solution of the of the differential equation. So, while finding the particular solution we do not want uh, this uh, constant of integration also for any value of c that will be the solution. So, we are looking for a particular solution in that case we can set just this c to 0. If we want to keep and continue and finally, we will add into the complementary function to find the general solution of uh, the given homo non homogeneous equation. In that uh, case this constant will be merged to the constants we appeared in complementary function. So, this is not important here we can assign any value in principle, but uh, the simplest case will be that we assign the c to 0. So, now this uh, solution of this equation. So, y will be e power a x and this x e power minus a x d x plus this constant e power a x. So, when this constant is 0 this term will disappear and basically we get uh, this the value of this 1 over d minus a x is equal to this. So, this is very important now here the important result which will be very useful now to find the particular integral. So, we got this result that when we apply the uh, d minus a on a function here x then its value is nothing but e power a x and integral this function x itself is e power minus a x d x that is a, a particular solution uh, when we set this to 0 here this is not important. So, the, we can get this particular solution of this uh, 1 over d minus a when operated on this x. In, in simple case what we can consider here for instance this a is 0. So, what this result is suggesting. So, when we set this a equal to 0 what is this result here that uh, 1 over d operated on x is equal to so a is 0 this is 1 here and this is also 1. So, we are getting simply the integral x d x and this is what expected we know this that d was the differential operator and this 1 over d operated on x. So, this 1 over d is like integral operator. So, this is precisely the integral of this x over d x. So, 1 over d operated on x is nothing but the integral of this x with respect to small x. So, this is more general formula here rather than 1 over d we have this 1 over a d minus a operated on x and the value is e power a x uh, integral x e power minus a x. So, this is very uh, important for this lecture now and uh, we can use this formula for instance to compute this d square plus a square y is equal to this sec a x. So, what do we have here first we need to find the complementary function and for that uh, we need this uh, equation here the auxiliary equation. So, the auxiliary equation in this case will be m square plus this a square is equal to 0 and we will get the roots as a i plus minus this complex conjugate. And then we know how to write down the solution. So, it is like 0 plus minus e power a i. So, it is e power 0 x and then we have the c 1 and cos this a x plus c 2 sin a x that is the solution of the homogeneous equation when this right hand side is set to 0 or this is uh, rather to say it is a complementary function here. So, this is c 1 cos a x plus c 2 sin a x we have the complementary function. 
So, to find this general solution of this we need the complementary function and we need a particular uh, solution. So, to find this particular solution we will apply the idea which is discussed in the previous slide. So, we have 1 over this inverse operator 1 over d square plus a square and this uh, operator on this sec a x. So, what we can do here we can write down this d square plus a square as d minus uh, so, 1 over this d square plus a square is written as uh, 1 over here the d square and this minus a i uh, square that means here d plus i a and d minus i a this is the product of this d uh, minus a i and d uh, plus a i and then so 1 over d minus a i d plus a i and then we can do this partial fractions. So, we will get this expression which is uh, given here 1 over d square plus a square and now we want to operate on this sec a x. The idea is because we know already this formula here uh, for 1 over d minus i a or 1 over d plus this constant. So, why now we need to compute here we need to consider for instance the first one 1 over d minus i a operated on this sec a x and the formula which uh, was derived before such as that this value will be equal to e power this constant times x integral this function sec a x and exponential with the minus sign minus i a x and d x uh, we can uh, leave the constant of integration to find this particular integral. So, here we have e power minus uh, i a x and then this uh, sec x. So, here we have this uh, sec uh, a, a x and this e power i a x which we can write as cos a x minus i sin a x. So, when we multiply this sec there, so this will be uh, 1 over cos a x. So, this will give 1 there and then uh, we have this minus i and we have sin a x divided by this cos a x. So, this is the integral integrand here and we are integrating over uh, over x here. So, this 1 will give the x here the integral of this and then this cos a x will be substituted as, as t and then this sin a x is there. So, we need again a there. So, we have exactly this a sin x the differential of uh, derivative of this cos a x and then uh, with this minus sign because cos a x will give minus sin a x when we take the, the derivative of this. So, the value of this integral will be this with plus sin i over a and this logarithmic because this is like 1 over t. So, the logarithmic of this cos a x which is written here. So, this is uh, nothing but the value of this integral here uh, x plus i over a and the logarithmic of the cos a x with the modulus. So, similarly once we have computed this 1 over d minus a sec a x which is coming to be this one here what we can do we can also compute this 1 over d plus i a. So, 1 plus 1 over d plus i a over this sec a x what is the difference now in the 2 here the i is replaced by minus i nothing else. So, we will do the same here this i will be replaced by minus i and here also this minus i. So, only this change will come the rest everything will be the same. So, we have evaluated this 1 over uh, d minus i a operated on this sec a x and also 1 over 1 plus uh, 1 over d plus i a operated on this sec a x. So, we can we, we can uh, get this difference now and multiply this 1 over uh, 2 i a to see this value of 1 over d square plus a square sec a x. So, that is what we will do now. So, this particular integral which are which was given here. So, we can now substitute the value of this 1 over d minus a operated on sec x which was uh, given here and then minus sign with 1 over d plus i a which is uh, written here. So, this is corresponds to this 1 over d minus a and this corresponds to the second one here uh, 1 over uh, d plus i a and this factor remain as it is 1 over 2 i a. Now, we can just simplify this. So, this will be the x here also x here. So, e power i a x and minus e power minus i a x divided by this 2 i 
will give the sin a x and then we have x over a here. So, so this first term here with uh, e power so x common and then e power i a x and then we have e power minus i a x and this will be when we divide here 1 over 2 i was there already. So, this x over a and this 2 i is here. So, this will give uh, this sin a x term with x over a. So, this is the first one here and the second one when we have uh, again this common term as the log of this cos a x we take this common from the 2. So, this will be also plus here i over a and this is also i over a. So, here i over a and the outside is 1 over 2 i a. And then we have when we have taken this common e power i a x and this will be with plus sin e power minus a i x. So, this i gets cancelled and this 2 will be merged here. So, this is nothing but the cos uh, cos a x term with the logarithmic of this one and 1 over this a square is here. So, this is just the simplification of what uh, we got here this 1 over a square ln cos a x and cos uh, a x again. So, the general solution now will be the complementary function which we have evaluated earlier that was c 1 cos a x plus c 2 sin a x and this particular integral. So, this is a particular solution of the given uh, differential equation the given non homogeneous differential equation this is the general solution here and when we add the 2. So, we have this the general solution of the given differential equation. Now, we will be talking about some special forms of this x uh, for instance e power a x cos a x sin a x etcetera. So, in those cases instead of evaluating this like we have done earlier with the help of that integral formula, we can also directly uh, uh, remember these formulas and that will be much easier in many cases to evaluate uh, when we have the right hand side these simple uh, such simple functions. So, the first to derive uh, today we will be deriving this uh, when our special function is e power a x and for that we need this result here that this is if this a is a constant here a, a is a this is a a is a constant then this f d operated on e power a x is nothing but f a e power a x. That means, when we apply this f t on e power a x the value the, the value of this operator when operated on e power a x will be nothing but f a. So, d will be replaced by a and we have this e power a x. So, this we will uh, see first which is very simple to realize because when we operate d on e power a x what we are getting. So, d means the derivative the different uh, the derivative of this e power a x which is nothing but e power a x multiplied by this a. So, what we realize here once when, when we have uh, applied this derivative here that d is replaced by this a. Same thing if we do this two times what will happen we will get a square with this e power uh, a x and again the same rule that d square is replaced by the a square term. So, if we continue this in general also we will get this d power n e power a x and this d will be replaced by simply a power n e power a x. So, when we have this operator f t which is usually d power n plus I mean kind of this polynomial. So, the same thing will happen when this d power n e power a x that will be replaced by the d is going to replace by a. So, in the whole expression here when we have this f d we apply on e power a x what will happen that all this d will be replaced by a. So, instead of this f d we will get f a and this e power a x will remain as it is. So, this is the general result what we will be useful now to derive when this right hand side x is a special function e power a x. So, what do we have here f t e power a x is equal to f a e power uh, a x. So, with this now we can derive now the first result of this special form and that is here if x is this uh, is of the form e power a x then what will be our our formula to evaluate the particular integral to found f to find a particular integral. 
So, this is uh, for instance our differential equation f t y is equal to e power a x right. So, the right hand side here is a special function this exponential a x. What we know already from the previous slide that f d when applied on e power a x we get f a e power a x and now what we do here we operate both the sides this inverse operator 1 over f d and what we will get then here when we apply. So, this f d and the inverse f d will, will just give the uh, will cancel each other. So, we have uh, e power a x is equal to and this 1 over f d we have this inverse operator applied on this f a e power a x and this f a has nothing to do with this inverse operator because this is just a constant. So, we can take uh, we can take this constant out and f a we have basically 1 over d and operated on this a x. So, now from this relation that e power a x is f a 1 over f d e power a x what are we getting that uh, this inverse operator on this e power a x here is nothing but e power a x divided by this f a. So, what is this interesting result here that when we operate this 1 over f t on e power a x we do not have to do much we do not have to use that formula which was derived earlier what we can do just the d will be replaced by a and that is the value of this operator uh, 1 over f t when we have this right hand side function e power a x. But it should be uh, noted here that this f a uh, should not be 0 otherwise we cannot divide here and this formula will not be valid. So, this is an again an important point that f a should not be equal to 0 otherwise this does not make sense. Now, the question arises that what will happen if this f a is 0. So, we have this f d and when we substitute this uh, uh, a here and if this becomes 0 then what uh, will be the formula what will be the changes here in this particular integral. So, now this is precisely the case here when we uh, uh, take that if this f a is equal to 0 then definitely d minus a is a factor of f t because something is making this uh, 0 this function here is a polynomial function. So, there is a factor d minus a which is making 0 either d minus a or d minus a square or d minus a cube. So, there is a factor d minus a it may appear in some power, but there is at least one factor with power 1 here d minus a in this f t. So, let us just consider that f t is nothing but d minus a and this g d. So, another function the left over here when we have taken this d minus a out. So, in that case what will happen now 1 over f d e power a x when we operate here this we can write down as 1 over d minus a and 1 over g d because f t was this d minus a and g d. And now we can operate first this e power a x on this 1 over g d suppose this g a is not equal to 0. If g a is also 0 then we have certainly another factor sitting here in this g d and that we can again uh, again take out from this g d and this may be the square in that case and then whatever left here there we will substitute we will replace d by a. So, that is the trick we have to do here. So, here we have this 1 over g d we assume that g a is not 0 because we have already taken this d minus a out here and suppose this g a is not 0 then what will happen that this value of this value of this operator here 1 over g d operated on e power a x we have already seen if g a is not 0 the value here will be nothing but this one here 1 over uh, g d operated on e power exponential a x then we have 1 over g a e power a x and again this factor 1 over d minus a is sitting as it is. So, provided here that this g a is not equal to 0 that is the assumption again if this is 0 we will handle again uh, in a similar fashion. So, we will take again this factor d minus a out of this g and in the remaining we will again handle by replacing this d by a. So, what uh, now? So, we have this 1 over d minus a to be operated now on this 1 over g a e power a x. 
that means this 1 over g a we can take out because this operator will not do anything on the constant it is like the integral operator which we have already seen before. So, 1 over d minus a operated on e power a x now we will use this formula which was derived in general uh, that 1 over d minus a x is nothing but e power a x integral x e power minus a x d x. So, here when we apply this one. So, our the right hand side this x is e power a x. So, here e power a x and this x is nothing but e power a x. So, e power a x and e power minus a x will will cancel out each other and we will have under this integral only the 1. So, the integral of this 1 d x will be just x. So, we get here the x. So, the uh, the the inverse operation here uh, inverse operator 1 over d minus a uh, e power a x will give us x e power a x and this 1 over g a is sitting as it is. So, what, what we got now that if 1 over f d power a x and this has a factor if f a is equal to 0. So, it must have a factor like d minus a and the value will be when we have 1 minus 1 over d minus a the value will be x e power a x of this operator. Well, so now what are these sort methods for finding this particular integral is if this x is of this form e power a x what we will do. So, 1 over f d e power a x 1 over f a e power a x this d will be replaced just by a. So, we get the value directly without using that uh, general formula of the integral. So, directly this d will be replaced just by a if I mean provided this f a is not equal to 0. If that is 0 that was the second case we have already discussed if this f a is 0 then f d must have a factor of this type d minus a power r. And we have already seen that what will happen when we have 1 over this d minus a operated on this e power a x we are getting this x e power uh, a x. Suppose, we have here d minus a square. So, there was a factor 2 here uh, sitting in inside this f d. So, d minus a square. So, that means, we will again operate on this x e power a x. So, what will happen if we operate again this 1 over d minus a on this x e power a x. So, uh, this formula again will be used. So, instead of this x we will replace now x e power a x. So, e power a x will get cancelled we will have x there and the integral of this x will be x square by 2. So, we will get uh, as a result when this is square here we will get x square by 2 e power a x and we can generalize uh, this further and that result will be uh, stating here now. Uh, f d must have a factor of this d minus a power r and in that case the general formula for this dealing uh, with 1 over d minus a power r e power a x will be x power r like in case of 2 we have seen it is x square by 2 and uh, in case of the 3 again we will get this 3 and the 2 earlier so factorial will, will come. So, this 1 over d minus a power r e power a x the the, the result of this the value of this is nothing but x power r over factorial r into this e power a x. So, we need to remember this one this is simple when this f a is not 0 we will just replace d by a, but when uh, we have this 0 we have to take this factor out somehow and then we can deal uh, in this way x power r over factorial r e power a x. So, we see some example now. So, the first is to find the general solution of this differential equation d square minus 3 d plus 2 y is equal to e power 3 x. So, the complementary function we, we write down the uh, auxiliary equation here m square minus 2 m and plus uh, m square minus 3 m uh, plus 2 is equal to 0 and this will have a solution m minus 1 m minus 2 is equal to 0. So, the roots are 1 and 2. So, having these roots here we can write down the complementary function uh, that c 1 e power x and the plus c 2 e power 2 x. Getting to this particular integral which uh, is already discussed now. So, 1 over d square minus 3 d plus 2 that is the particular integral operated on this e power 3 x 
and the trick is here that we replace this d by 3. So, we have 9 minus this 9 and this 2 here. So, the value uh, will be coming as 1 by 2 e power 3 x. So, in this case this was not 0 here and therefore, we got this value directly uh, by replacing this d by 3 the value is 1 by 2 e power 3 x. So, this is a particular this is a particular integral it is a particular solution of the given differential uh, equation here and we have the general solution of this uh, homogeneous equation that means this complementary function and if we add the two. So, we get this general solution of this given differential equation. In the next problem what we will see we will find just the particular solution of this differential equation. So, the particular solution will be 1 over this inverse operator e power x and if we substitute this here because the the coefficient of this x is 1. So, we need to just replace here 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So, this is coming to be 0 that means we cannot apply here there is a factor d minus 1 sitting here which we can clearly see also if we take this d square common. So, this is d minus 1 here minus 1 then d minus 1. So, we have this d minus 1 and d square minus 1 again here 1 d minus 1 is sitting. So, d uh, minus 1 and the d plus 1. So, basically what we have d minus 1 is square and d plus 1. So, then we have to deal now with uh, d plus 1 is not a problem because e power x uh, this 1 is not making it 0. So, this will give simply 1 by 2 e power x and then e power x uh, when we operate 1 over d minus 1 is square then we have to use that formula which was derived earlier. So, what we will get there uh, this x square by 2 e power x will come because of 1 minus d square term and 1 by 2 will come because we had here uh, d minus 1 is square and we have d plus 1 and the right hand side is this e power x. So, let us first operate here 1 over d plus 1. So, the d minus 1 is square we keep as it is and when we apply this this will be e power x by 2. So, this is nothing but 1 by 2 and this d minus 1 whole square e power x and this is 1 by 2 here and 1 over d minus 1 square e power x. This is the formula we will use now from the earlier slide that is x square by factorial 2 and e power x. So, we have x square by 4 e power x as the particular integral of this problem. In the next problem we have this is the last for today. So, d square plus d plus 5 y is equal to 3 and uh, the idea here is that this particular integral will be 1 over this d square plus d uh, plus this 5 and we have this 3. So, the 3 anyway we can take this is a constant we can take out of this operator, but there will be 1 here. So, that 1 what we can route, write down e power 0 x that is the trick we are using here 3 we can take outside here of this operator because this operator will not uh, do anything with the constant and here e power 0 x now which is uh, replacing 1. So, this 0 will be substituted uh, for this d here the same formula for e power a x we have used. So, doing this now what you will get the value will be 3 and then when we put this d to 0 we will get this 1 over 5 there. So, the value will be 3 by 5. So, whenever we have a constant that constant can be taken outside uh, of this operator. So, like 3 and then we are actually operating on d square plus d plus 5 and over 1 and this 1 can be replaced like e power 0 x and then this 0 we can use the same formula which we have used earlier that d will be replaced by 0. So, we will get 1 over 5 here and this 3 will uh, be there. So, 3 by 5 is coming the value of this integral. So, this is the uh, particular uh, integral of this uh, equation. This is one particular solution uh, of this uh, equation. So, coming to the conclusion now that we have seen the particular integral and indeed this general formula which will be very useful to find uh, the 
integral when uh, we do not have such a shortcut method which was discussed just like special functions x power e x. So, this can be used in any case as long as this integral we can evaluate and the special forms also uh, we have discussed today uh, this e power a x. So, the, the rule was that 1 over f d power a x we can replace this d by this a if this f a is not 0 and if this is 0 then we certainly have a d minus a factor and that can also uh, be easily evaluated as x power r here by factorial r and e power a x. So, with this now we have these references used for preparing this lecture and thank you for your attention.